we were trying to handle this problem, we would say, okay, I'm going to factor out x to the negative 2. Now, this is where the idea of when you factor out a GCF, looking at it as division can kind of help uh, figure out, well, what goes back in my parentheses. So I'm taking out x to the negative 2. So that's like dividing each of my terms by x to the negative 2. So then I use my exponent rules. What's the rule when you divide with exponents? You subtract. So 5 minus negative 2 is the same as adding 2. So that leaves us with x to the 7th is going to go in our parentheses. Minus 2, because we took out the x to the negative 2. Okay? That is in factored form. You can multiply it back out to check. x to the negative 2 times x to the 7th, when you're multiplying, you add exponents. Negative 2 plus 7 is 5. Okay? So, <clears throat> there's that idea. Okay, well, what if we make it a binomial? Okay, something like b here. x squared times x squared plus 1 to the negative 5th minus x squared plus 1 to the negative 4th. It's pretty obvious that they both have x squared plus 1, right? But it's a matter of, well, what's going on with those exponents? You factor out the least exponent. So the least here would be negative 5. So we're going to factor out x squared plus 1 to the negative 5th. So when we take that out of the first term, we are left with the x squared that was in front. Minus, okay, if we take out x squared plus 1 to the negative 5th, if we look at it as dividing, negative 4 minus negative 5, subtracting a negative, same as adding a positive, so negative 4 plus 5, that means it's to the first. Okay, now, you don't have to write that one exponent, but I'm just writing it there for, you, for your benefit to see it. Again, multiply it back out. Let's show you this. This times this gives me the first term. This times this, I add the exponents, negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4. Okay? Now, it turns out we can combine some like terms here inside of our parentheses. Okay, we can distribute this negative. So we've got x squared minus x squared minus 1. x squared minus x squared goes away. So we really just have a negative 1 in front of x squared plus 1 to the negative 5th. Okay. I simplified what was in my second set of parentheses by distributing the negative. The x squares cancel. We're left with negative 1. I put coefficients in front. Okay? So, kind of weird, but it's the same thing every time. Let's look at ones with some fractions. Okay? Let's look at some with some fractions. 2x squared times x minus 1 to the 1 half. Tell me this, before we go any further, it really has nothing to do with this problem. I just want to review it. What is the one-half power the same as? The square root. Okay, The one-half power is the same as the square root. Remember when you have fractional exponents, it's power over root. Okay, Power over root. So that's raising it to the first power, and it's the square root. It has nothing to do with what we're going to do. I just wanted to take that moment to review that idea. Okay, so what do they have in common? 2 and 5 have nothing in common. But they do both have x minus 1. Thank you, Faith. Um, she was really excited about that answer. We take out the one that has the least exponent. Okay, we've got positive one half and negative one half. Negative one half is the least. What do we have left? We've got 2x squared. Positive one half minus a negative one half. Subtracting a negative, same as adding a positive, so that gives us x minus 1 to the first. Okay. So, when we take out a GCF, it's like we're dividing. 
So if we're dividing these two things, we subtract our exponents. One half minus a negative one half. Subtracting a negative, same as adding a positive. So that's one half plus one half, which gives us one for the x one. Okay? Then we've got minus five, and we took out the x minus one to the negative one half. Now, since that's just to the first right here, we need to simplify what's inside of our parentheses. We need to distribute the 2x squared and see if we can combine anything. So we've got 2x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5. Okay. No combining to be done in this case, but in the previous example there was. So you, you need to do that. Uh, you need to distribute and combine like terms inside the parentheses, if applicable. Yes, sir? Other way around. Okay, because when we take it out, we, we're, when, you, when you factor out a GCF, it's like you're dividing by that GCF. So if we divide this by x minus 1 to the negative 1 half, we subtract exponents. So 1 half minus a negative 1 half ends up giving us 1, an exponent of 1. But in the second term, we took that part out. We factored that out. So we're just left with the 5 that was in front because that was the term we were factoring out. Okay? All right. So I'm going to give you all a few of these to try. Try being the operative word. 